Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching from. Uh, this is The Gifts. If you're new, please do well to subscribe, like, and share. And most importantly, turn on the notification bell so you get notified when we post a video. I gave a brief introduction in the last uh, video, and um, I don't know if I spoke very fast or so, but let me try to slow down in this particular uh, section. I gave um, the kinds of abortion. I just want to explain them, you know, briefly before I go into the main one. I want to explain that is in relation to the first one I had explained before. So when you have threatened abortion, uh, this is a case whereby, for example. Um, okay, just to recount, I had mentioned threatened abortion, I had mentioned inevitable, or I don't know if I mentioned, but inevitable, incomplete, complete, missed, and septic abortion. So, when it's threatened, in this case, the cervical ox, if you go for examination, uh, is closed, the, um, the bleeding is more of spotting, okay? And um, in this case, what the woman just needs is just to uh, reassure the woman, you have to have bed rest. You know, some of you or somebody you know when I fall into this category where they go, they say oh, everything is fine, baby is fine, but you need bed rest, you know. So in this case, you just have short bed rest. You just have bed rest and everything is fine. So you have some other case where it's inevitable. Inevitable, as the name implies, means that um uh, in this case that nothing can be done. The Salaka ox, you know, is open and um in point of conception invariably, you know, have to come out. There's abdominal pain and um uh, there's bleeding. We have one now which is incomplete abortion, which is one I explained the last time. So if you've not seen the video, you can you know see the video before this. And uh, then there is complete abortion, meaning every product of conception is out of the uh, uterus. There is um mis abortion. Uh, in this case, um the baby is dead in the um uterus. If you go for trasan, you will see uh empty gestational sac, or you might not notice any fetal heartbeat. You know when it comes to missed abortion and um in all in all they can all lead to septic abortion depending on which one progresses you know like inevitable incomplete and missed it could lead to sepsis but i want to explain a little bit about missed abortion since uh, i've explained the last time incomplete abortion because i'm trying to pick the ones that are more life-threatening so when you have missed abortion meaning the proof of conception is no more viable. The fetus is in the uterus. Dead fetus. Living dead fetus in the uterus for a long time can pose a threat. What does it mean when you have such situation? You mean you have to do evacuation. So the fetus have to be removed on time to avoid what will even lead to DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation. So you can avoid this serious condition. So this is a situation whereby um, the blood flow and blood circulation in your body is impaired. There's blood clot, there's uh, um, various kind of you know infection also. So the situation here is similar to what I explained earlier for incomplete abortion. So in this missed abortion, remember leading to DIC, meaning in, sepsis are set in already even. That's why you're having this kind of serious uh, condition or situation. So, the human body, especially women, is very, very vital. You have to really pay attention to the changes in your body. That's why during pregnancy, there are do and don'ts that need to be taken into place or into account. Remember, we are talking of both the, your life and the life of the unborn child. So there are things you need to do for you and for the baby. So now, in this case where we're talking about an abortion, meaning that in the case of incomplete or missed abortion, like I'm explaining, the fetus is no more viable. The next point of call is to take care of your own body. The next question will be, what do I do? To be okay to save my life you know because it's very, very important because people only pay attention 
in fact, believe me, it's not um, it's not easy when a woman loses a child or a pregnancy. It's very, very heartbreaking. It can lead some women going to depression and all. But in a way, it's also good for you to stay alive to make more babies. And that's that. That's the importance, and that's the uh, main point of this educating women. So, if you are alive, you can still make more babies. The same God that brought the first one, that was lost. God will even give you, even give you more if you want. But you need to be alive to achieve that. So, as simple as it may sound, I know some some cases people will be looking at money, but. How much are you looking at that you will not want to take care of your life? So, just to um, conclude uh, with this, if you are pregnant or planning to um, take in or plan to be pregnant, you should know some things that will be good for your body and for your system. I know this video, for example, is not intended to scare anyone, but rather to encourage and to enlighten. So, if you are planning to pregnant, you are pregnant. These are the things you should take your checkup seriously. You know, don't miss checkup because of, of money. It can cost you your life and the life of the unborn child. Regular checkup is very important for pregnant tumor. As uh, uh, basic as ultrasound is, I know some people say in some places it's not that basic, but yes, as basic as it is, that is the, the most basic. You could know about your well-being and the well-being of uh, the fetus. Do it. And if it happens that, okay, um, you lost the, 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 the pregnancy, do the right thing also and follow the right step. And you will get pregnant again, surely. Uh, as long as you believe in God, the same God will provide again. So it's on this particular doctrine I just want to end today's um, uh, teaching. I hope you learned one or two things. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will try to be bringing... Um, some other teaching from time to time to enlighten us and um, there are so many things to talk about when it comes to uh, women's health. Women are very, very vital and important. That's why we are uh, concentrating more on women and um, uh, I believe somebody is learning and being um, blessed with some of this teaching. So thank you uh, for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like and share. This is The Gibbs and bye for now.